Portalaca oleracea. The nickname for this plant is ore snakes. This is part one and in part two I'll be sharing a mnemonic or memory technique to help you commit to memory the most distinguishing characteristics of this plant for identifying purposes. Be sure to watch all of part one so that part two is understandable. This is a weedy plant. As you see it has ore shaped leaves. The stems and the leaves are very thick. They're fleshy and succulent. Yellow flowers. Five petals that are floppy. And the entire plant is smooth or hairless. This plant again nicknamed or snakes derived from the shape of the leaves can grow up to six inches tall and about two feet across as you see it forms in a mat-like cluster the flowers are five to ten millimeters wide They only open when it's sunny outside. The fruit or seed pods are oval shaped. They have multiple black seeds inside. The seeds as you see here is well illustrated as being somewhat uh, spiral shaped. They are brown to black and are about the size of a grain of salt. This here represents the flower bud after the flower blossoms. This bud opens as you see here And these two green parts are what is referred to in botany as the supples. The supples are two in number and as you see they are green. There is a taproot with very fibrous secondary roots. The leaves can be alternating or opposite. In this case, we see a lot of opposite leaves, which are also stalkless. There are no leaf stalks. Another mat like uh, picture. reddish stem. The stems can also be green. Very thick, fleshy, succulent stems. Reddish in color. Or shaped leaves again. thick and fleshy leaves 
notice the flower buds The leaves can be one and a half inch to two inches long. You can barely see in this photograph how the edges can have a reddish tint. The edges are also smooth. if the stem or the leaves are cut it will emit a clear sap the clear sap is what distinguishes it from one of its lookalikes or another plant which looks similar to it This picture shows us the taproot and the fibrous secondary roots here. The stems can grow from 4 inches to 10 inches long or snake, very thick like a snake with oar shaped leaves again in part two I will be sharing a uh, mnemonic or memory technique which will help you remember this plant in uh, more detail leaves without stems or stockless this picture shows us how there are many branches on the stem The stems are also creeping. They creep along the ground, forming that mat-like um, form that we saw earlier. Flowers form where the leaf meets the stem, as you see here. They can also appear in clusters at the tip of the branches. Flower buds, stalkless leaves where they meet the stem flowers form. Individually or in clusters. Creeping along the ground as a snake creeps. This is a close-up picture of the leaves. There are multiple stamen in the center of the flower. Again, there are five petals.
opening only when it's sunny outside. In the area where the leaves meet the stem here, it appears as if there will be a cluster of flowers forming in this area. There are two which have already bloomed, and here are some flower buds. You will often find the edges of the leaves with a reddish tint, multiple stamen, stamen are yellow in the center of the five petaled flower, obviously yellow, flower buds, notice where the leaf meets the stem, they develop. Now, this shows us how the flower buds form. This top portion opens, it splits around the middle to expose the tiny black seeds, numerous tiny black seeds inside of each seed pod. Now these seed pods are three to five millimeters wide and four to eight millimeters long. This is a close-up of the seeds. They are granular in texture with that spiral appearance about the size of a grain of salt dark brown to black. The edible parts of this plant are the leaves, the stems, seeds, and flower buds. To learn how to prepare these parts and for more information about this plant, visit survivalplantsmemorycourse.com And there at the home page, find Portoleca oloracea, purslane, or the nickname or snakes. Click on that, and it will take you right to the fact sheet where you will find methods of preparation as well as more much more information about this plant there on the fact sheet this has been part one be sure to watch or listen to part two where i will be sharing a mnemonic or memory technique to help you commit to memory the most distinguishing characteristics of this plant thanks for watching